cut about uh, five foot five. Just go around, get, get prepared for the morning run by 16. I'm on the road, mm -hmm. training, come back for the shower, a cup of breakfast, relax a little bit, see what's going on in the world through social media and anything else. Maybe it's the exercises, I just jump in into exercises, relax a little bit, have lunch, try to nap uh, for one hour in the afternoon, mm -hmm. wait for the evening run. After evening run, I take tea and just go and relax for you to wait for the dinner. And by nine o'clock, I'm on the bed. How much water do you drink a day? Maybe three liters. Oh. Uh, by way of right meal is okay. Yeah. Yes, every cool. day. I'm trying to train as good as I am. Uh, what makes me to stay for a long time is self-discipline that uh, I set my priorities right. I try to say no to anything which actually I know it's not beneficial. I believe in planning and preparation which can actually make me to stay on the course. I love the consistency which has actually left to me to make my career long. All sorts of small habits actually has contributed to, to my longevity. No, no, I don't have any trick. I just focus and run. I still want to run more fast before, before I say bye. I think it's possible, yes. Yeah. Yes. for you? Yeah, it's possible. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Mm. You know, you know, when you when people when people realize that that thing is possible uh, with a normal marathon, it's possible. I really uh, do what's ne what's necessary for the whole week. If I don't feel well, then I'm trying to to do it to, to my level. Sometimes you push too much, and the whole day you just lie down and be in the bed. That you you, you really feel you pushed a lot. Yeah. I should perform over 80% on Tuesday, yeah. Thursday and Saturday. Yeah. And then I should perform 50% on Friday, Sunday, Monday and Wednesday. I try not to run 200% yeah. in the normal training, but um, run up to 68, 70, 80 is good. Uh, I think more pain is actually happening in training. Okay, están haciendo hoy el día de entrenamiento de serie. Aquí pasa Eliu. Tienen 8 millas y 8 por 400. Estas son las series de 400 metros. Y nada, es un espectáculo ver cómo corren estos chicos y en, en particular Eliud, que lleva un ritmo, a su ritmo de maratón a 20 km por hora, 20,3 a los 55 cada mil metros y ahora a los 400 un pelín más rápido. I document the time and the mile and the kilometers I have done every day. I document the massage, I document the exercises, I document everything I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I document the shoes I'm using. He's a teacher and I'm a student. And always students actually should uh, respect their teachers. There are people, when you meet, there's some kind of magnet. No? Yes. And those people are not so many. And uh, I think Edward is one of them. You know, he's considerate to every human being. He does not look down on people. I mean, if you see his, his phone, his phone is always on. I mean, how many people want to reach him? There's so many. But he will give you an answer. And uh, especially the athletes, I mean, you know, he helps so many athletes. We divine team as a group of people trusting each other. That's what has made us actually to be one for all that long. That's what has made us actually to train to the best of our level. And again, trying to to consume about uh, 200 kilometers to 210 per week is, is really hard. But I love how, how my life is going on. What you are doing even when you are alone, 
then you are not doing for somebody else. You are doing for yourself. And if you lie that you have done something, then you are lying to yourself, not to other people. Paulo Coelho once says that if you want to be successful, never lie to yourself. Sometimes it's difficult because all the pressure over me. Oh, everybody actually is expecting you to be more fit in two days, which is not possible. Uh, but uh, I love what I've been saying, what I've been doing. All the people around me have been really supportive. But I tr try to block all the other things which come, see, which are really coming, coming in in a huge force. And try to concentrate on actually maintaining the right, the, the right pace, uh, feeling uh, on my muscles and my body, how it responds to the distance, mm -hmm. the right time, and focusing fully on the finishing line and and trying to perform well. I'm trying to be present at the race all the time. And the only way is to enjoy running and make sure that uh, I maintain the same pace, maintain the same the same posture of running, enjoy what I've been doing all the time. So I think it's good to celebrate at the finishing line. The purple is that a huge celebration, so actually is putting more uh, uh, responsibility. It's, it's good to go back, uh, internalize what uh, what has happened. Yeah, I celebrate at the finishing line. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Change. We will do some steps to one side, some steps to the other side. I'm so, Mark Roch, a physiotherapist, an athlete of the NN running team. He has been here in Kenya, in Captanat. Five, close. Un estilo de vida muy sencillo, donde las 24 horas del día giran alrededor de, del entrenamiento y, de, y del descanso. One, two. Three. Lo habitual para esta gente es que se levanten justo poco antes de las 6 de la mañana porque la primera sesión del día suele ser a las 6 en punto. El resto del día es pues eso, uh, bastante sencillo. ¿eh? A los miércoles y los viernes yo me encargo de dirigir una sesión de ejercicios. Luego por la tarde, a las 4 de la tarde, quizá un pelín antes, eh, se hace la segunda sesión que suele ser solo 10 kilómetros y además muy suaves. El programa de entrenamiento de Captagat la verdad es que es muy sencillo, es muy repetitivo también, es incluso podríamos decir monótono, pero es que el maratoniano necesita una, una rutina, una monotonía ¿eh? que, que vaya acumulando kilómetros. Los atletas suelen llegar al campo el lunes por la tarde y los entrenamientos fuertes son esos, son el martes que tocan series, el jueves que toca tirada larga y el sábado que toca farlek. Pero lo habitual es que las sesiones fuertes sean bastante fuertes y exigentes y entonces los rodajes son o sea, a ritmo muy personal. Pero, pero es verdad que aunque el Elite Kipchoge pues es, es, es muchísimo mejor que el resto, pues las diferencias en el entrenamiento no, no son tantas. ¿eh? Elliot es una persona muy especial realmente, que, 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 que se desvive, que tiene una pasión tremenda para, para el atletismo, que es muy constante, que es posiblemente la persona que yo más he visto que cumple con el, con el programa. Eh, yo no le he visto nunca saltarse un entrenamiento, o sea, ni siquiera cuando puede haber venido a algún viaje y esté cansado, o sea, haya pasado una mala noche, sigue estando ahí cumpliendo, cumpliendo un entrenamiento. Es, 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 es tremendo la, la, la dedicación que tiene. Claro, sí, la mayor fortaleza que tiene el Kipchoge es, es sí, a la, a la cabeza. Él sabe lo que tiene que hacer, lo cumple, porque está convencido de que haciendo eso va a, a llevar a, a la línea de salida su mejor versión. Él vive aquí, es realmente eso, entre semana, el ¿eh? fin de semana se, se va a su casa. Es exigente, pero él sabe que es, es la, es la fórmula del éxito. Y su familia sabe ¿eh? que cuando toca preparar un maratón, pues hay un poco de, 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 de obligaciones por, por la parte de cada uno, pero que ya habrá tiempo después de, de estar en familia, de, de, de disfrutar el éxito. Me encantaría verle con un tercer oro olímpico. O sea, yo creo que ya ha hecho historia. Quiere inspirar a gente y esto le da tanta fuerza que, que no se pone ninguna meta. Y si hay que llegar a París 2024 y, y si está en la línea de salida, pues supongo que la mayoría de los que compartan línea de salida con él van a decir, me cachis que nos tenemos que repartir la de plata. My love point was when I missed the Olympic Games in, in 2012. 
with a 5k I try, 5k I was 4, I try also 10k I did not think I will succeed. Then I had to go back. But the huge uh, challenge was the pressure from the outside world. Either from the media, either from the fans, either from the companies, either from the sponsors. Everybody that uh, they want you to perform. You are running alone. You are the only person who actually uh, the whole world is seeing to perform and make history. And when you s really sit down and, and think what other people are saying in the world, that uh, what will happen if I missed? What will happen if actually have something happens and you retire from the rest? So it's, it's really hard. And that's why since I always say it was most challenging. Mm -hmm. And I am happy that uh, I endure it. So I use about four or five shoes, uh, yeah, three or four per week. And okay. Yeah. But I, I, I took about over 10 pairs per, per season. In this world, and, and technology goes hand in hand. And shoes cannot be actually a, a, a lefty at all. Because uh, it is the only way to, to run in a good way, in a happy way, and perform well. It's not about the real performance, but it's about that, uh, that recovery that if you train really hard, hard, then you, your muscles can, can recover faster. All is the, that absorption from the crown. I would like to, to run the, last, the next three, three more uh, uh, world major marathons. New York, Tokyo. And, and Boston. I have not yet actually made my full decision in my mind, mm -hmm. but I am happy to be appointed as an ambassador for, for the Paris 2024. Mm -hmm. to inspire people. I think the future will be good. I think the future will be marathon in the world. People will go into running. I think the secret is to enjoy running, to enjoy racing actually, mm -hmm. and, and, and being happy for what you have been doing for all those months that you put into practice on that day. Small habits are actually what uh, makes me to be successful. That's why I'm still sticking on where I started, and I trust I will end my career here. In marathon, do you consider a pioneer? Yes, no? Um, Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I think so, I think I'm competitive. <laughs>